So I was um, asked to present about uh, whether we're ready for uh, routine commissioning of prehabilitation. Um, so prehabilitation is, a, is the process of preparing patients physically and psychologically for cancer treatment so that um, we better manage the impact of that treatment and that they recover quicker, less complications, and hopefully make long-term behavior changes in terms of becoming more physically active. Um, and there's a very strong evidence base at this work. So um, I talked about uh, an important meta-analysis that was published in the last 12 months uh, that really synthesized all the evidence for prehab uh, in lung cancer surgery. It shows it reduces post-operative complications by about half, and it reduces the length of stay in hospital by uh, over two days. So really significant uh, benefits to the patient and the healthcare system. But then you, we do have to think about translating that evidence into real world service delivery and uh, developing models that are sustainable and resilient and uh, that can be scalable. So I covered the work that we've done in Manchester with a prehab for cancer program. Um, which is where the cancer, the regional cancer alliance, um, funded the development of this program that collaborated between um, clinicians and the community leisure sector. So in Greater Manchester, there's a very well established uh, leisure community leisure facilities. There's 87 across the region. Um, and by collaborating with that team, um, we could utilize that infrastructure to provide uh, prehab and rehab very close to people's homes. Um, and in the, in the two years that this program was funded, uh, around 2,000 patients were supported to prepare before treatment and recover afterwards. Um, and the, the program's had an independent evaluation recently that's shown it's been it's been very cost effective through the release of uh, bed days critical care capacity healthcare resource um, and that it's demonstrating we're improving patients fitness in an objective way and really most importantly for me um, that there are long-term sustained um, changes in behavior and activity levels up to a year after the program uh, patients are significantly more active than they were at the time of diagnosis. So it's a program that can take that, the horror of a cancer diagnosis and the trauma of that treatment and turn it into some long-term positive outcomes of people being actually more active and healthier they were than they were before the cancer diagnosis.